what is up children of Commonwealth? It's Papa Jellybean. I am back with yet another build. This is the latest entry to the very simple set, uh, series that I have been doing. Today we're at Nordhagen Beach. Now, I gotta clear up something. It seems like every time I do in these videos, I gotta explain why I'm doing things. Why am I doing the very simple settlement? I'm doing it for the players that are overwhelmed by the amount of settlements. What I'm doing, trying to do, or what I'm going on in my head is, I'm making these very simple ones that players that don't want to do settlement building on every single settlement, and there is a lot, there's over 30 settlements, they can use these blueprints, make a quick settlement, and then there's still room for expansion because I'm not using the whole build area. I'm only using a very little bit of it. So that's basically what I'm thinking is trying to help out the players that get overwhelmed by all the building. And let's face it, there's a lot of settlements to build. So with that being said, let's take a look at the newest entry to the Very Simple series. Today it's Nordhagen Farm, a uh, beach. Why do I keep saying farm? I don't know. Oops. So here's the entryway. I'm just going to back up a little bit. So this time, for this settlement, I went with the cabin in the woods. For some reason, the cabin in the woods seems to suit Nordhagen Beach. For some, I don't know why, but it just it seems to. Do. And as always, we have our security down here and over here. And then if we go upstairs, over here is your crafting area. Now, I only use the basic crafting uh, stations, the ones that are the most used. And as you can see, you can walk all the way along the wall. And of course, there's guard and mats out here for guards. Give you a little view. As you can see, there is still a lot of area that can be built on. So like I said, I'm trying to make this for the players that are a little overwhelmed by the amount of building there is. Then over here we got your water purifiers and your farm. And of course we have the bar. Now what I've done is I've incorporated the bar and the restaurant together. The restaurant is upstairs, the bar is downstairs. So very simple bar. I've gotten rid of the singing settler because I am trying to very hard cut down on the amount of mods that I use. With this simple series, I went from where my builds were using 20 plus mods to roughly around 8 to 10. So I've cut down quite a bit. And, but for some reason it doesn't seem to be enough for some players. And then of course up here we have the restaurant. And I've kept the height of the ceilings. Just to go with that overall effect. She's been standing there for three in-game days. <laughs> I guess she's still, it's taken her three days and she still doesn't decide what she wants to eat. And of course, over here we have the clinic. Now, I've done the clinic down here the same as I always do. you got your doctor's office oh, oops, over here, your billing over here. And of course, your clinic, and of course the waiting room. Now what I've done for these is I fused the double door walls, and then I manually placed all the glass in it. Just give it these big beautiful windows, you know, panoramic windows. Now upstairs I did something a little different. I got my chest in. But what I did was I put in like a little cafeteria, a little place where uh, people that are working here or staying here can come, grab something to eat, like grab some food, grab some uh, something to drink. You know, just a little, just a little cafeteria, not very big. Of course, they can sit over here and stare at this blank screen. And I've kept the height of the ceilings again because I found when I did uh, a very simple starlight drive-in. I really, really like the height ceilings, so I kept them as best as I could. And of course, just your typical rooms. 
Now, I don't know whether I should yell at dog meat for being on the bed or in the bed. Somehow he always ends up in the bed and not on the bed. But he's happy. He's a happy camper. And of course, I've done your residence here. Altogether, there is 20 apartments. There's only 40 beds. So I'm really cutting down on the beds because apparently my bills are too over the top, too extreme, and too unrealistic. These are just some of the comments I'm, com I'm getting. Yeah, I'm a little bitter, but hey, what the hell. Like I said, simple little setup. You know, they're only really sleeping in here. They got their little bathroom and shower. Now, what I, what I try and do is I try and make the settlements as interactive as possible. So when you see the desk, you can assign settlers to the desk. You can assign settlers to the hospital beds. Uh, the showers are from Build Your Own uh, Pool. The reason I use that is everything produces happiness. And that's what you want to do. You want to get the happiness up. So, of course, here is all your vendors. Still one single floor. And again, I've kept the height. I lost the door. Here we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a very simple Nordhagen Beach. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. All of you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, move your mouse a little to the right, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so, so very much for watching.